we're going to take a look at machine reinforcing a steak. Here I have a columned steak with two center stitches. We're going to be cutting up between the two stitches here. And so I want to put some reinforcing stitches in the stitch to the right of the right center stitch. So I'm going to stitch down the center of this column of stitches here and then I'll turn the machine around and I'll stitch up the center of that column of stitches there. My machine is set to a straight stitch. You can use a small zigzag stitch too if you like. It, there really is no hard and fast rule. What you really want to do is just sew this material so that it doesn't unravel. I have set my machine to a pretty longer stitch um, length, but there again, you have to know what your machine does is how it travels. Mine seems to travel on knitting better if I have a longer stitch set because it doesn't feed through real fast. So I'm, I have my needle threaded with a contrasting color thread so I'll just be able to see what's what and keep track and when I'm cutting I know that I'm not cutting into my thread because I can see it. I'm going to get my column of stitches lined up underneath my, underneath my feed dog. I'll put my needle down in the column. I'm going to lower my pressure foot and I'm not going to push really or pull. I'm just going to try to guide. I don't want to stretch my fabric too much. I might want to stretch it just a little bit so that it can have some give going back. I don't want to scrunch it up so that when I take it out it's all sewn scrunched up like that. Then it doesn't have any give. So if you're going to do anything give it a little bit of, of length. And we'll try to do that. Okay, so here we go. Let your feed dogs just do the work, and all you need to do is just guide it. Okay, I'm going to do a couple back stitches just for good luck. And I'll raise everything up. I'm going to raise my pressure foot, pull out a little bit of length of thread so that I can turn around and go up the other side. The column of stitches that I want to sew up now are right here. I'll put those underneath my pressure foot, put my needle down into that column, lower my pressure foot, and gently give it a little bit of length and let it guide. Couple stitches back stitch and you're done. Granted, this is an easy little steak to do because it's so small. If you had a big sweater, you would have to worry about the material that's underneath it. Say if this if this steak were connected here, you'd have to worry about you know only getting one layer of fabric underneath there. So, so here you can see the stitching line down that way and down that way, and we're going to cut in between these two center stitches. So let's just go ahead and cut it. And when you go to fold it back, you're going to fold it back along this solid line there. And if you look here, If you notice, there are some uh, shapings decreases here. So as you, as I cut the stitch, it seemed to open up because I do have some shaping there. If you fold that back, you can see how that has opened up instead of being straight. It's opened up at a slant. Okay, so that is machine reinforcing a stick.